Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your NVIDIA graphic card and your NVIDIA control panel for Black Myth Wukong to get better FPS, improve your performance, fix your FPS drops, and increase your visibility and improve your color tones. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. All right, firstly, I want to tell you that I have already made a best settings guide. So if you guys have not watched it yet, you can go check out my channel for the best settings guide on Black Myth Wukong. This settings guide will only cover the NVIDIA control panel settings and visibility settings in the game. So let's begin. Step number one is downloading GeForce Experience. If you don't have it already, you can go to NVIDIA's official website and get GeForce Experience. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you're over here, head over to the drivers section and you'll find your game ready drivers right over here. If this is not game ready drivers, you can click on the three dots right over here and then select game ready driver. And once you're over here, you'll automatically find the latest release that is 560.94. And this release is particularly for Black Myth Wukong. They have optimized the graphic driver to improve the performance of your GPU in, all, in general. Once you've downloaded and installed this, you can go to your desktop and then search for NVIDIA control panel. Once again, if for any reason NVIDIA control panel does not show up on your PC, you can head over to Microsoft Store and then look up for NVIDIA control panel right over here you'll find it right over here you can simply download this okay once you're in your app you'll be headed to the first page that is the adjust image settings preview you'll find use the advanced 3d image settings right over here kindly select that and then click on take me there once you're here head over to the program settings because you don't want to touch the global settings right over here then click on the add button and then click on browse over here go to the install location of your game and then select b1 win64 shipping.exe click on open and this will be added into the list first up starting with the image scaling you want to keep it turned on and isotropic filtering should be set to 2x anti aliasing fxaa should be turned off gamma correction should be turned off anti aliasing mode should be set to application controlled anti aliasing transparency should be set to off background application max stream rate should be set to 30 fps cuda gpus should be set to all cuda sysmem fallback policy should be set to driver default low latency mode should be set to ultra monitor technology should be set to fixed refresh open gl gdi compatibility should be set to auto open gl running gpu should be set to your native graphic card power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate should be set to application control texture filtering for all three of them you have to keep it on clamping performance texture filtering trilinear optimization and thread optimization both of them should be turned on triple buffering should be turned off vertical sync should be set to use 3d application settings virtual reality pre-rendered frame should be set to one and vulcan open gl present method should be set to auto these are all the 3d image settings that you want to be enabled on this game head over to configure surround and physics and over here set your processor to your graphic card this is just to make sure that your cpu integrated graphic card is not being utilized and you're using your native graphic card go down to adjust desktop and color settings and right over here set your digital vibrance up to 70 percent or 75 percent both of them good looks absolutely fine and improve your in-game colors head over to adjust desktop size and position and over here you'll find your display resolution this should be your native resolution and your refresh rate should be the highest available right over here go all the way down to adjust video color settings and right over here select with nvidia settings and then head over to advanced and then set your dynamic range to full if this is available for both of my monitors i have full range over here and this will help you to enhance your colors head down to video image settings and over here make sure that you're using the use inverse telesign once that is done you can close your nvidia control panel next step is creating a restore point and this is super beneficial search for create a restore point on your pc and then head down to local disk c click on create and name it wukong just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once it is done click on close and then close system properties next step is black myth wukong nvidia optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and it has three simple folders and all of them will help you to optimize your nvidia graphic card to the utmost level first is the generic optimization which includes low med and med high optimization once again i highly recommend you guys to leave your pc specs and your graphic card specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list and once again if that doesn't work out for you guys you can always restore that back to default from here head back to the second folder which is the nvidia gpu optimization and over here i would recommend you guys to run all of these registries this will help you to disable your gpu energy driver power throttling improve your nvidia graphic card setting by putting on the best stock settings improve your nvidia sfio priority and prioritize your nvidia gpu to render the games you can double click to run all of them and head back head over to the third folder which is the black myth wukong priority and over here use high priority 
strategy or above normal priority, whichever gives you the better FPS. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always set it back to normal priority. Last is the MSI Utility V3, right click on that and run this as administrator. Once this application opens right in front of you, you have to look for your graphic card, which is right over here. Click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set your GPU affinity to a higher state, allowing it to perform much better to render the game and optimize maximum power for better performance. Close this out and now you're good to play Wukong on your PC without any FPS issues and improve clarity. Once again, if you guys want to get the best in-game settings, I would recommend you guys to go watch my previous video on Wukong where I explained everything in detail and this is it. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to really like and smash the subscribe button. It seriously helps me out a lot. Also, we have rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it will help the channel as well. We'll see you guys in another amazing video on Dylan. Stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.